Hello everyone, Dr. Dinesh is here from Canadian Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine in Canada. Today we're going to talk about toxin botulinum type A or Botox, how long the effect lasts, and what are the chances of immunologic unresponsiveness. Also, we're going to talk about indications, side effects, and treatments. The information here in this video gathered from two different articles uh, published one in 2010 and the other 10 years later in 2020, uh, both published in PubMed, which is a highly respected database. Uh, the first one, which is published in Indian Journal of Dermatology in 2010, it says, Basham toxin, one of the most poisonous biological substances known, is a neurotoxin produced by the bacterium Clostridium botulinum. It has different exotoxins or serotypes. All serotypes interfere with neural transmission by blocking the release of acetylcholine, the principal neurotransmitters at the uh, neuromuscular junction, causing muscle paralysis. The weakness induced by injection with mushroom toxin type A usually lasts about three months. Mushroom toxin type A is a neurotoxin produced by the bacterium Clostridium botulinum, an anaerobic gram-positive spore-forming rod commonly found on plants, in soil, water, and intestinal tracts of animals. How mushroom toxin works? All the serotypes interfere with neural transmission by blocking the release of acetylcholine, which is the principal neurotransmitter at the neuromuscular junction mentioned before. Intramuscular administration of botulinum toxin acts at the uh, neuromuscular junction to cause muscle paralysis by inhibiting the release of acetylcholine from presynaptic motor neurons. The toxin requires 24 to 72 hours to take effect uh, or to start uh, affecting uh, the neuromuscular junction, reflecting the time necessary to disrupt the synaptosomal process. In very rare uh, circumstances, some individuals may require as many as five days for the full effect to be observed. Peaking at about 10 days, uh, the effect of botulinum toxin lasts nearly 8 to 12 weeks, as mentioned before, three months maximum. Uh, but in this case, uh, in some cases, we have up to 15 days, 14 to 15 days, which is two weeks, uh, to see the best effect of uh, toxin botulinum type A. In some cases, there are some immunologic considerations, and estimated of 5 to 15% of patients injected serially with earlier preparations of Botox develops secondary non-responsiveness from the production of neutralizing antibody. Risk factors associated with development of neutralizing antibody include injection of more than 200 units per session and repeat or booster injections given within one month of a treatment. Hopefully the new BCB 2024 Botox has reduced immunogenicity and a lower potential for neutralizing antibody production because of its decreased protein load, though the fact is not proven in clinical trial yet. What are some of the FDA-approved use of Botox or toxin botulinum type A? Chronic migraine, cervical dystonia, beta spasm, strabism, or strabismus, hyperhidrosis, cosmetics, urine incontinence from detressor overactivity, hemifacial spasms. Off-label use, which means um, not approved yet by FDA, is neurogenic thoracic outlet syndrome, epicondylitis, post-stroke pain, post-herpetic neuralgia, diabetic neuropathy, trigeminal neuralgia, neuropathic pain, spinal cord injury, myofascial pain, bladder pain. Some of the complications of injecting toxin botulinum type A are as follows. Headache, infection, cocked eyebrow, ectropion, decreased strength of eye closure, and zero phthalmia, which means um, the dry eye. What are some of the contraindications of injecting toxin botulinum type A? Well, keloid scarring, neuromuscular disorders, 
mushroom toxin allergies, body dysmorphic disorder, pregnancy, breastfeeding, and amyotrophic lateral sclerosing myopathies. What are some of the precautions after mushroom toxin injection? As a general precaution, one should go home immediately and rest after Botox injection. Do nothing strenuous for one or two days and refrain from laser IPL treatments, facial and facial massage for one to two weeks after injections. This is to minimize toxin dislodging and traveling due to increased blood circulation or direct pressure to the surrounding muscles. Follow-up monitoring. The weakness induced by injection with mushroom toxin type A usually lasts about three months. As mentioned before, patients who receive higher individual doses or frequent booster injections seem to have a higher risk of developing antibodies. Here are some of the FDA-approved preparations. Uh, as you can see, onabotulinum, abobotulinum, incobotulinum type A, and uh, rimabotulinum toxin type B. Toxicity will induce symptoms 12 hours to three days following exposure. Presenting symptoms include difficulty swallowing, hoarseness in voice, slurred or slow speech, double vision, and descending flaccid or flaccid paralysis. Treatment are as follows, antitoxin, vaccine, and F2 immune fragment therapies. Managing the care of patients prescribed mushroom toxin for tra therapeutic purposes requires excellent communication between the patient and professional healthcare providers. Uh, the uh, recommendation is that site injection are under the guidance of a clinician to assure patient safety in case complication do rise. Adverse effects are frequently moderate and self-limited. Therapeutic use of mushroom toxin reported more pressing adverse effects over the cosmetic practice. This may be due to the higher dosing required for therapeutic applications and possibly complicated underlying conditions. Among the more minor complications, bruises, edema, or pain at the injection site can develop during aesthetic use. Flu-like symptoms can also occur. More uncommon complications include blepharitosis and iprotosis, which is dependent on the injector, which I'm not 100% agree, uh, because in some cases, this distribution of the toxin mushroom type A happens without a clinician being in fault. Eyelid ptosis transpires with the introduction of mushroom toxin is introduced into the glabella, procerus, and corrugator muscles with unintended dispersion into the levator orbicularis muscle. These unfavorable effects can serve up to three months. As the technique and skill for injections improve, the incidence of complications decreases. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you like this video and find it beneficial, please share it in your social media and uh, to your friend and families. And uh, like always, stay happy and healthy. Thanks, and have a great day.